Now, I'm going to use everything I knew before about multiplication and division of functions, okay? I'm going to use it on this, okay? So the first thing is, I need a rough picture of what am I dealing with? What am I dealing with, okay? Uh, I know what x looks like, and I know what log x looks like independently. So let's put them on there, okay? There's x. There's log x. So just like, do you remember when we did addition and subtraction of functions? If you want the whole thing to exist, then all of the components also need to exist. So, tell me what's happening for x is less than zero. Answer, nothing is happening Whoa. for x is less than zero, right? Because you're like, oh, it's this guy times undefined. Okay, so, so therefore, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. All right, what about what's happening in here? What do you see? Hmm. Am I sorry? <laughs> okay, remember I'm multiplying here, okay? So this is a bit trickier than what I had before, but here's what I'm going to try and pull out for you, okay? It's the first example. Let's do easy bits first. Easy bits first, okay? So over here, over here, what's happening here? I'm multiplying these two together, right? So this point here, which is, by the way, x <coughs> equals one. one, y equals zero, okay? I've got zero times something else. Do I care what the something else is? Not really, okay? So therefore, I'm gonna pass through there, right? You multiply zero by whatever, you'll get zero, okay? All right, what about to the right? To the right, okay? What's happening when you multiply these numbers by these numbers? Hmm. Well, number one, I know about the sign, okay? So there's going to be positive stuff happening here. Okay? Now, keep in mind, y equals x, it's growing. y equals log x, also growing. It's slowing down, but still growing, it never stops. Okay? So when you put them together, what you should expect is something that's steeper than both of them. Do you see that, right? So it wouldn't make sense for this to be also a straight line, because you've got a straight line, and you're multiplying by bigger and bigger numbers. Okay? So therefore, it's got to curve upwards oh. like that. Has to curve upwards. I should choose a better color. So it's not so heavy. Does it touch? Okay. Does it touch? What do you think? Yeah. I think it must because there's only two ways that it can not touch. Number one, it could be parallel, like that. Or number two, it could lean away. But it can't possibly do that. You're multiplying this number by a number that's positive and getting bigger. So it's going to get bigger as well. Um, would you say that the, like the black line you've drawn is a reflection of the mm. 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 I'm not saying that. Okay. Um, it's plausible that it is, but I don't really know. I haven't analyzed it to that depth to really know. Okay. It does certainly look sort of like that though. Okay. All right, so I've worked out what's going on here. That was the easy part. What's happening in here? Now, let's just pull back what we know from those guys, right? At the minimum that I know is between x equals 1 and x equals 0, I have a positive value times some negative values, right? So at least I know it's got to be down here. It's got to be down here, okay? So I know I'm going to slot in down here, okay? Hmm. Now, here's another tricky question. Uh, this one, I'm going to actually use some values here, right? So remember we said this is x equals 1? So that means on this line, the y value that corresponds to it is y equals 1, yes? So that means all of the ordinates, all of the ordinates in here, do you see they're all less than 1? They're like 3 quarters, or a half, or a third. They're all smaller than 1. When you multiply a number by something that's less than 1, what happens to your original number? It gets smaller. It gets smaller, right? So this number down here is getting multiplied by something that's smaller than one. So it's going to shrink. It's going to shrink. Okay. Now, does it go down here? Does, like, can you see there's a tug of war, right? Does log x, which is pulling down, win? Or does x, which is going to zero, win instead? Okay, now, how are we going to work this out? Okay. Well, this is tricky, okay? You've got a couple of tools at your disposal. If this one wins, if the zero wins, right? That means that this has got to go down and come back up. What feature is that called? That's a, that's a turning point, is it? It's a stationary point. 
could I find such a thing? Yeah. And it's going to let you yeah. think about that, right? Yeah. Number one, I think I could. Number two, I can actually work out what's going on even without resorting to calculus, right? Because remember, I just need a picture. Just need a picture. I don't have to find an elegant way to get the picture. Even an inelegant way is fine, okay? You remember when I said to you? <laughs> remember when I said to you, hey, extremities, extremities, put in some huge values. Put in some, go on, go for it, right? Well, I'm not going to put huge values in here, am I? Right? I'm going to put in really tiny ones. Okay? So for example, let's just put in 0 0.1. Let's try that. So for example, I'm now testing, right? So what is 0 0.1 log 0 0.1? That's x log x, right? What's it equal to? What do you get? Give me a decimal. Someone got this one? Okay, that's fine. That's still in this region here that I expected. Let's try something smaller. 0 0.01, right? Log 0 0.01. What's happening? Negative 0.04. Who's winning? Y equals X is winning. Because look, as I get closer and closer, we would actually say the way I would formally write this is that the limit as X approaches zero of X log X, clearly it's approaching zero. You see that? And the closer you get, the more zero it will be. The limit is zero. Okay, so that's a bit messy. So therefore, I'm going to be coming up to this point here, the origin, okay? Except I'll never get there. Can someone tell me why I can never get to the origin? The ln x doesn't pass into x equals zero. Correct. We, we bump into that domain restriction we had right at the beginning. Log x doesn't exist for that value. So there's a hollow circle there. Okay? But everywhere else, you're going to get values like that. And it has to, it has to come back up because you've got to get to that intercept. Do you see? You've got some negative values in here. And then you've got to climb back up to y equals zero. Okay.